Today's playlist from the Dave Matthews Band to Metallica, there are a surprising number of musical groups that have been around for decades, and Collective Soul is right there in the thick of things. Zach Perry talked to bassist Will Turpin about their long journey and what lies ahead. 30 years is a long time, but for the band Collective Soul, those three decades have gone by in a flash. Their first album came out in 1993, and blew up the next year with their hit single, Shine, and they haven't slowed down since. Yeah. 30 seems, woo, oh, 25 was fun. I was like, yeah, 25 years. Now it's like, oh man, it's just been a great ride. It's been great to uh, be able to create music for a living, and be with your friends. We caught up with the bassist Will Turpin to get an update on all things Collective Soul. And right now, that's a lot of things. First of all, they just embarked on a 50 show new tour. We'll play some new stuff because we just like playing new stuff a lot. We're kind of known for that. Hopefully it makes them feel like they're in on what's next and where we're going with things. And we'll also try to get to get to all the bangers that everybody expects. The band also just got done recording a new album, their 12th in studio. And Will says everyone in the band really felt the magic. We did it again. I mean, we know when it feels right and that record's gonna be great. We've just got a vibe and a thing that just keeps happening. Every time we get in the studio, we still have those moments where we know something something really special is coming out. However, he admits they may have gotten some help from the great beyond. They recorded the record at the Palm Springs estate of the king himself. Elvis Presley, who used the estate when he recorded his famous Live in Las Vegas. Why can't you see? Whoa, what you doing to me? I don't know about spirits or whatever, but the DNA is in the walls, man. I think there was definitely extra inspiration. Be the one I pray for nightly. Be the one I've never seen before. And there's more to come, including a new documentary, as they celebrate the 30th anniversary of their first major record deal with Atlantic Records. It's a retrospective of, yeah, the beginning, man, where it started, Stockbridge, Georgia. There'll be some eye-opening moments. Nobody really realizes what kind of a small town story it is. And they'll even head off on another tour. I believe next year, I hope it's not true, but you might get tired of hearing Collective Soul's name. It's gonna be a busy year for us. We're still rocking out to Collective Soul after all these years on The Playlist.